Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most common OBD to trouble codes PO336. If you've scanned your car and seen this code pop up, it means there's an issue with your crankshaft position sensor circuit. Don't worry, I'll guide you through the troubleshooting process and how to fix it yourself. The PO336 code is triggered when the engine control module ECM detects an abnormal signal from the crankshaft position sensor. This sensor monitors the position and speed of the crankshaft, which is critical for timing ignition and fuel injection. Before we start swapping parts, let's confirm that the PO336 code is accurate by scanning the vehicle system. I'm using my OBD to scanner to pull the diagnostic codes. Faulty or damaged, crankshaft position sensors, wiring issues, failed ECM, timing, belt, chain problems, and mechanical issues such as worn or damaged crankshafts. Check engine light is on, engine stalls or hesitates, engine bucks or stumbles at road speed, hard starting or no start, engine misfire, rough running. A multimeter. OBD to scanner, socket set, a replacement crankshaft position sensor if needed, and don't forget safety gear, like gloves and goggles. First, we need to locate the crankshaft position sensor. It's usually near the bottom of the engine, close to the crankshaft pulley. Check your vehicle's repair manual if you're having trouble before replacing anything. Always check the sensor's wiring and connector, look for any loose, damaged, or corroded wires, and make sure the connector is seated properly. If you find any visible damage, you may just need to repair or replace the wiring. You will finding it. Now, let's check the sensor. Using your multimeter, test the resistance between the sensor terminals. A functioning sensor typically reads between 200 to 900 ohms. If your reading is outside this range, the sensor may be faulty. Once the new sensor is installed, clear the PO336 code using your OBD to scanner. Now, start the car and check if the engine runs smoothly. Take it for a test drive to ensure the problem is completely fixed. And there you have it. That's how you diagnose and fix a PO336 code. Remember to always double check your work and consult your vehicle's manual for specific details. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more DIY car repair tips. Thanks for watching.